we got Alex and Hal here. I'm going to go ahead and read Alex's bio first. Um, Alex is a first year dental school student at the University of Washington School of Dentistry. Um, him and Howe are doing the RIDE program, which is the Regional Initiatives in Dental Education program, where they are getting trained to do dentistry in rural and underserved areas throughout Eastern Washington. Alex was born and raised in Santa Barbara, California, uh, but moved to Gig Harbor, Washington. He is a first, year, first generation college graduate student, uh, went to Pepperdine University in California, and this is where I met my wife. Uh, Alex, Alex grew up playing sports like basketball, football, track, soccer, and rugby. Um, his wife and Alex love exercising, love going on hikes with their two dogs, and love to watch movies and shows. <laughs> All right, and then yeah. <laughs> we also have Hal. Um, Hal went to University of Washington for her undergraduate, majoring in, oh, we have one more. Awesome, sweet. The more the merrier. <laughs> Hi, Jasmine. Should I read um, Alex's again? Oh. <laughs> always I'm always always going to talk about it later as well. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, sorry. So, Hal went to University of Washington for her undergraduate majoring in biochemistry and minoring in chemistry. Currently, she is in Spokane as a first year dental student at the University of Washington School of Dentistry. Hal is a part of the RIDE program as well as the AHEC Scholar Program. Uh, both programs aim to increase service in, under, in the underserved communities and interprofessionalism. Um, she looks forward to talking about dentistry and uh, to answering your questions today. So I guess we're gonna get started here. Okay, Alex. Let's do it. <laughs> this is Dentistry 101. We'll give you guys 20 seconds. <laughs> so how many years is dental school? No, I swear. I I think you were confused thinking that it's also include including under, undergrad, undergrad as well. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you that one too. <laughs> right. Awesome. This is a little tricky. We'll see. <laughs> so, what national exam is required to matriculate into dental school? Nice, the DAT, yep. So this stands for dental admission test and we'll talk about it in a little bit. So that's the, our main test that we wanna study and prepare for. Sweet, <laughs> awesome. And how many dental schools are in the US? Sweet, 66, nice, you guys both have got them right. <laughs> oh, we're, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I saw two answers there. I was like, oh no, you guys got it right, no. No, but yeah, it's, you know, it's medical schools, there's a little more, but yeah. So how many specialties are in dentistry? A little tricky question. 12, nice, nice, sweet, yeah. There's actually a lot more. I was expecting when I first entered, I didn't know there's gonna be 12, so. There's a lot of uh, uh, specialty programs. So being a dentist, you only look at teeth for the rest of your life. Is this true or false? Nice, perfect, yep. <laughs> And we just took an exam talking about that. So we, uh, we're not just looking at teeth. <laughs> so do you need to do a residency after dental school? True or false? False, yep, you don't need to do, you can do dental school and go into practice if you'd like. So how much is first year dental school tuition? Let's see. Yeah, so it's a little bit up there, but yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's dental school, so it'll be a little bit, of, it's an investment though, so yeah. What is the average salary for a general dentist in the US? So just kind of approximate the number. We nice. make more than you guys think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully this gives you guys hope. No. <laughs> awesome, you guys. Okay, last one. Awesome. When is the first dentist report in? I see 5,000 years ago. This is the winner. There's no third. <laughs> There's no third. <laughs> yes, nice. <laughs> it was very close. 
Good job, Caitlin and Jasmine. <laughs> awesome. So that was just a little game, just to kind of get you a little bit, um, you know, get your feet wet, just kind of talk about um, dental school. But then we're going to go more into the details and just kind of we'll share a little bit of our experiences and things like that. So. So what is the dentist? As in who? Too far. So like a dentist, we are more than just people who just drill on your teeth or just pull out your teeth. We also diagnose and prevent the diseases in the oral cavity, just like a doctor would be. And we are kind of like a specialized doctor where we just specialize from the collarbone and up. Mm -hmm. And if you think about it, usually you go to the dentist when you feel pain and afterward we will take away your pain. We yeah. don't give you pain at the dental yeah. office. And it's important because a lot of people think, you know, we're not physicians, but in reality we are physicians and we do have to take care of those, like those systemic uh, health diseases. Like we didn't know that dentistry, you can have, you know, microbacteria in your mouth and that can disseminate basically just spread to your heart. So People might think, oh, you have heart disease. You never, people wouldn't think, oh, it's maybe from your periodontal disease or anything. So it's a very systemic problem. So it's it's a very whole 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 based approach. Yeah. And what does dentist usually do? Well, if you go to your dentist, they usually do like an exam and stuff. But if you're a person that really like hands-on activity or like arts and creativity, just like the picture shown here, you can give a patient back the a complete denture, like a full set amount of teeth again, mm -hmm. and they could be smiled like brightly compared to what they had before. So that's really the creative side of dentistry that nobody talk about, which is really nice. I think that's what brought both of us to dentistry. Yeah, it's, really, it's, a very, it's like an art, you know? So mm -hmm. our first year we're doing waxing and we're trying to basically mimic how the tooth is gonna look like. So it's a very artistic career. And if you love art, if you love like, I took some classes with sculpting and just kind of like things like that, that helped me out in dental school. So if you're very artistic, it's going to be an amazing career for you. And as we mentioned in the Kahoot, there is 12 specialty in dentistry. And like you don't think that there's more to dental school than there is just the dentist, and being just a dentist, the dentist yeah. that you see, like even the picture right here, you as a dentist will diagnose this person to have this type of tumor and then refer them to like a oral maxillary surgeon or mm -hmm. actual surgery itself. Yeah. So you see all kind of weird thing in clinic and you never thought that you would see. Yeah, and it all, with these uh, specialties, they all vary in the amount of years. Like some mm -hmm. will take two years, some, uh, I personally want to try to pursue oral maxillofacial surgery. And that can be like four years if you're taking a certificate program after dental school or six years if you want to approach a DDS or an MD route. So you can get both degrees, but it all you know, differentiates like ortho is three years. So it all depends. And this is not required. You can just be a dentist and um, not just be a dentist, but, you know, do dentistry and do more clinical stuff. And it's all it's up to what you want to do. Hey, for me, oh, I just want to... Um, Sorry to interrupt. Uh, Jasmine oh. has a question for you. In the yeah. Chat. Oh, yeah. Uh, she asked, what's the difference between a dentist and a dental hygienist? So a dentist, you actually have a four year. A dental hygienist is someone who mostly take care of your teeth, just like mm -hmm. cleaning, scaling your teeth, getting rid of all the plaque and bacteria on your teeth. But as a dentist, you're the doctor. You're in charge of the, your, the exam that the patient come in for you detect whether the patient have cavities mm -hmm. have some type of cyst in the mouth have some type of oral cancer you mm -hmm. make the decision as the doctor so dental hygienist you could think of them like a nurse mm -hmm. and then a dentist is your doctor yeah and we always you know we always don't discredit hygienists because mm -hmm. they're amazing you know they take care of periodontal disease and things like that but we have to detect oh you do have periodontal disease um you're able to prescribe medications and things like that whereas dental hygienists, they don't have the freedom. And um, we basically are kind of instructing the, the treatment plan, if that makes sense. So we're basically physicians. So these are the undergraduate, the, the next two slides, we'll just talk about undergraduate prereq classes that you have to take. This is your basic bio class, chemistry class that everybody have to take in order to apply for dental school. This is the from the ADA website, but this is one, this one is for specifically for the UW. If you want to apply for UW dental school, this is the requirement that you have to take. And this right now you're still young, you don't have to worry much mm -hmm. about this. So when you get into your undergraduate career, then this is what you need to focus on of achieving before you apply for dental school. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys are in is high school. Yeah. High, high school. school. So um, yeah, just honestly getting involved with like 
just with a little bit of like sciences and things like that, what you guys can be doing right now. And um, uh, just there's, we're going to be talking about some programs later on at the end of the quarter, uh, the, the slide, but that's something that we can just like uh, talk about and everything. And um, yeah, just maybe just look into engaging in science classes because, you know, um, yeah, we have to take physics, we have to take, believe it or not, we have to take, it's a requirement to take English um, and other like math and everything. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, it's a very whole, you, you basically not just take the science classes, you also have to do other classes, when, which will be required for college, of course, but um, yeah, just try to um, maybe just emphasize. Okay, so science. Caitlin have a question about UW. So I went to UW school and the physics mm -hmm. considered is probably hard. AP physics will help you introduce you to the concept, but going to UW is a new whole experience and it's really depend on how you study. I took AP physics in high school as well, mm -hmm. but I didn't think it was that much helpful. It, it's just dipping myself in the world yeah. of physics. That's about it. Like getting familiar with all the equation that involve in physics and use when you go to undergrad, it won't be the first time you see the equation. Yeah. So yes, I would recommend taking AV physics just to introduce yourself to the subject. Yeah. And it gives, it gives you that good transition to make it easier if you do want to like retake it in college and you're gonna be, you're gonna feel really prepared. Mm -hmm. And luckily, physics is not on the DAT, so that's a good thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, we did talk about the DAT. This is a really long test. Well, compared to medical school, this is not as long. It's only half a time, four and a half hour long. Mm -hmm. It will test your reading, your math skill, your science skill. And one special thing that we test on is perceptual ability. These are the type of questions that you will have to take on the DAT, which is help you with just perceptualize thing, because we do work in a very small environment of the oral cavity, so you every millimeter matter. Yeah, so and it's pretty cool. I mean, mm -hmm. let's see if you guys can try to answer, and um, you guys can put in the group chat. So I'll just kind of. Yeah, time. we only have okay. twenty-five minutes. So <laughs> I have the PowerPoint on my um the profile for the speakers. You guys can go ahead and download and try on your own as well. But these are yeah, these are just examples of yes. perceptual ability. Mm -hmm. So things that you have to kind of think and perceive it in your brain and try to answer the question. And next is tuition. Yes, then like that Alex has mentioned before, tuition is quite expensive, but. You have to think of all the equipment that we have to buy. We have a lot of equipment compared to like dental school or mm -hmm. oh no, compared to medical school or dental um, pharmacy school or nursing school. So most of that you have to factor in that all the equipment that we buy. Tuition itself is probably around medical school. It's just the mm -hmm. equipment that we have to buy. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's not. This is not like the money. Oh, am I gonna save this up for uh, college and save? No, you're gonna take out loans. Like it's a normal process to take out loans. So yeah. don't get worried about too much of the numbers because I mean, we're all on loans or there's also scholarships that we'll talk about. Yeah. So the two things I really want to mention is to fill out your FAFSA. If, as you go into your undergrad, you still have, fill out your FAFSA. Even when you go to graduate school, at dental school, medical school, you still have to fill out your FAFSA. This is where you will get your money to pay for those kind of school. Mm -hmm. We do have the National Health Service Corps which you can earn up to four years of dental school for free with stipend as well. But in exchange, you will have to serve your community health clinic for four years in repayment. Mm -hmm. That's one thing you should consider if you are from a small, um, small town mm -hmm. and you wanna go back to your town and practice, this could be something you could sign up and get your tuition taken care of and you should just go to school on your degree and come back and serve your community. I mean, it's a, it's a cool opportunity because you're doing four years. They're going to pay for four years. You're going to give them back four years. However, at the same time, on top of that, you're actually, they're actually paying you normally as if you were a dentist. So you're getting four years of tuition free and you're getting um, paid as, an, as if you were just working normally as a dentist. So it's a good gig. And then as we, as, um, we mentioned before we are part of the RIE program. This is UW school initiative to um, increase the number of dentists in the community. So we are part of this program as in, both of us are in Spokane right now. And we'll, this August, we'll be spreading out everywhere throughout Eastern Washington and serving mm -hmm. as at one of the community location. 
so which we're really excited for. So yeah. like I mentioned before, if you are from a small town, please do look into the right program because mm -hmm. over here we are very well taken care of and you learn so much over here just to go out there and serve the community. We're spoiled and UW is only 60 students, but um, with 64 total students and us, we're eight students here in Spokane and we have our specific professors. So it's a very uh, close faculty to student ratio. So it's a very good opportunity and you know, you get pampered here. <laughs> And then also, we also mentioned that we're part of the AHEC Scholar Program. This is the supplemental class that we both take just mm -hmm. to enhance our knowledge on how to serve rural and underserved community. This is this program is actually what brought us to talk to you guys today. Mm -hmm. So we want to give special shout and thank you to this program. And please, when you are in the pro health professional school, please look into this AHEC program because you get to talk to other healthcare professional student mm -hmm. and collaborate on ID and how to improve the healthcare system in rural and underserved community. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Just adding to that is, does a dentist, you're going to be working as a dentist in a clinic and everything, but in reality, you need to know the patient. You need to know their medical history. You need to know their psychological, the social history. So AHEC allows us to work with other uh, professionals and kind of hear their insight and see what they have to say. Oh, what do you recommend for somebody who's, you know, has um, heart disease, you want to talk to, and uh, we, we communicate with dietitians and things like that, things that you wouldn't consider, but it's a very good program that is in sync with all the health profession programs, and um, it allows us to just um, yeah, just be better dentists well overall, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the next few slides, I want you to write these down, okay? Mm -hmm. So first, we have the TRIPA program. This is the UW Dental School program that for high school students, so which are you guys from 13 to 18 year old, you guys can apply. And this is a free program for you. And you can go there and you get to do suturing a heart. You get to scale a tea. You have to can wax a tea. You can talk to pharmacy student, medical student, nursing student, and share this with all your friends as well, because this is a really interesting program for you. Just if you don't not sure about what you want to do and you just want to explore. And if you are, want to pursue dental school, this is a great way to network with other dental students and the dental faculty. Next one, dive into dentistry day. This is also at the UW. This is for high school and undergrad. So you can do both when you're in high school or undergrad. And this is specifically just for dentistry and you can they didn't learn what dental school is like. You get to be a dental student for one day. <laughs> the CAM, um, this one, I, this, this, the website where you can go into and then you can sign up for it. And this is on the weekday. I think it's run from March to like May on the weekend. So you go to UW, uh, UW school for on, the, on a Saturday and you can just have fun and learn about how and how you join. And now I think the application for 2022 is already closed, but you can go to their website and you can sign up to be notified when the 2023 application is open. If I would do this all over, I would do this. I, I didn't know about this. So whatever house selling is, <laughs> <laughs> look into that. So. And then when you are in um, undergrad, your freshman and sophomore year, you need to do the summer help professional education program. This is the free program for six weeks in summer that you get to shadow. You get to be a dental student or a medical student or anything. You get to network with other people because as we both realize networking is really important mm -hmm. and how you want to pursue any career, you need a mentor, you need somebody like that. These will, this program will really help you connect with those people and you get to shadow a dentist. That's so fun. Yeah, and, yeah. and you can learn more. You, you can feel how, what it's like to be a dentist and whether it is for you. And see the environment. Mm -hmm. so take advantage of that. So. And awesome. lastly, this is all the website I have for you guys. And this is all the website you can go and learn more information about dental school. I didn't want to go too much detail because we want to open up for questions. So this is a great time to, for you guys to have questions for us. Ooh, how, how do you start preparing? How you, um, so dental hygienist is completely different from dental school. If you want to be a dental hygienist, they actually a prereq 
a different prereq that you have to take in that usually take around two years. Yeah. And then after two years, you can actually apply to a dental hygienist program. At mm. Eastern Washington, there is the dental hygiene school that you can apply to, but there's so many around Washington, like Shoreline and everything. So you just have to look up what are the prerequisites, the classes that you have to take to become, to apply for dental hygiene school. And then from there, you, you will need to apply to school. There's no test, there's no DAT, which is yeah, really great. Yeah. <laughs> yes, um, but is awesome. what I want you to do is start to shadow a dental hygienist if you can, because mm -hmm. you want to know if dental hygienist really is for you. Did you, as we mentioned before, dental hygienists are very important. Oh, yeah. What high school classes do we take? High school classes, you can reach. Um, I took I took the basic all the high school classes that are required. If there's like a science class, I usually go for the all the AP classes. Because mm -hmm. like I said, I want to introduce myself early to what it's like to be a college student level of learning. So I mm -hmm. did all the AP classes. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, like, you know, obviously I'm the, I shouldn't be saying this, but you know, you guys enjoy your high school too. Because I mean, college, that, that'll be a time for college. So um, I took, I mean, I took AP chemistry and like that was, I think I feel like that was enough for me, you know, I was just AP, but, mm -hmm. um, but just enjoy your, your uh, high school for now and um, do a lot of sports. Sports, sports really good. good. <laughs> yeah, That's then, where you get your scholarship from for, un, for undergraduate sport. A lot of my <laughs> friends did sport and they got a lot of scholarship. Excuse yeah. me. And then also to just to add the dental hygienist, like if you communicate, I think there's some, I, I, I knew somebody and I don't know if this applies to everybody, but um, there's some dentists that, you know, they want to actually have like contracts with you say like, oh, if you work with us for five years and we can actually fund your dental hygienist um, uh, program too. So I would, I would, I mean, I, 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 that was a specific case, but I mean, I would look into that if there's any programs that, you know, you can, that, that can fund your education. The first thing I would suggest right now is to talk to your den, den, dentist right now. Just go talk to your dentist and yeah. then see what they have opportunity for you guys to see. Like maybe you can shadow right now as well to see what actually dental Three is like. Yeah. Did you enjoy chemistry? Should you mention? Did you enjoy chemistry? Should you? No, not always. The, your major, I only major in biochemistry and chemistry mm -hmm. because it just met all requirement. Mm -hmm. Like I was checking off the list to apply for dental school, but you don't have to major it. if you like art, if, if you like music, if you like art English, you can just yeah. major in those and then. But you still have to take those science classes. Yeah. But if you really enjoy chemistry, go, go for it. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I was sports medicine. I, I wasn't really, I was biology. Biology is basically like the typical one. But if you love chemistry, you can major, yeah, major in chemistry. It's, I mean, it's just part of your, you know, your requirements. You're going to take some chemistry, organic chemistry. And luckily that's part of our requirements. So it's always, it's a, I mean, it's a good, good, you know. So um, yeah, with even with sports medicine, I didn't have to take organic chemistry, but I needed to for dental school. It wasn't required for my degree, my uh, bachelor's degree, but it's required to apply to dental school. So if, yeah, if you want to major in chemistry and you, and you love it, go for it. So we only have about like 48, 47 seconds. Thank you. I would just want to thank you guys so much for like attending our session. I know it's kind of a bit rushed. Yeah, sorry. No. <laughs> shoot out some email or anything. If we can answer a question or send you towards somebody, connect yeah. you with somebody, we will try to do that. Yeah, honestly. And yeah, we'll try to answer as many questions and give you the shortcuts and everything. So, and we'll give you our experience too, you know, what we did and things to prepare, especially when, when, it, when it comes to college. So, so yeah. All right, thank you, Caitlin and Jasmine. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, thank you everybody. <laughs> awesome.